What's up, YouTube? It's Alex Kamo here, owner, CEO, and graphic designer of Snowbound Apothecary. Today, if you guys haven't noticed, I got a new camera and new lighting, so the quality of the future videos and today's video is going to be much better. So, with that being said, this week I want to give you guys my seven quotes to get you through the week, my general tough it out Thursday. All right, see you guys in a second. The first quote for you guys today is, you have to lose some small games to win the big game. If you want to make it, you have to always have the big picture in your mind. These smaller pictures that keep popping up, they're not as important. You have to have the big picture. You have to lose some to win some, which means you have to get ready for loss because loss is what's gonna teach you the lessons that you need to move forward. Remember, success is built from lessons learned, and lessons learned is one of the most important pra practices in business. That's why people have after action reviews, hot washes, whatever you wanna call it. After the product is dished out, they look it over and they say, this is what we did wrong, this is what we can do better. And they take these things and they take them to heart and they improve on them. They actually improve on them for the next time. My second quote for you guys today is don't choke before the battle is over or the outcome will shift on you. Do not psych yourself out. If you psych yourself out when you're halfway up the mountain, you're not going to be able to make it up to the top. If you choke, then that's it for you. You have to be able to sustain the pressure that is given to you. All of this that is put in front of you, you have to be able to handle that with a level head and keep your goals in mind. You have to constantly be picturing these goals and realize that if you lose this battle, this is just a small battle in comparison to the giant war game that you are playing. My third quote for you guys today is, as the pressure gets applied harder, push harder back. Life is a scale. As life pushes down on you, you want to push back to maintain a level scale. If the scale shifts too far in one direction, then you are out of luck. Whether that direction is for you or against you. If it's for you, you're in a better spot, but eventually life is going to apply even more pressure and push it back down. So the goal is really to maintain this balance, this yin yang between order and chaos because if you get too chaotic then things are going to end up going terribly and not your way and if you stay too orderly then things are also going to end up being terribly and you will find yourself having too many rules too many regulations and you won't be ready for the challenging situations that arise out of the blue so you will not be prepared for anything that may happen my fourth quote for you guys is always get high volumes of work done this means that you don't want to just sit there and pretend like you're working. You want to actually be committed and you want to be persistent to actually get your projects done and get them done in a timely fashion. Not too fast, if you get them done too fast, then you will actually do them wrong and have to go back and redo them and you'll spend more time redoing them. But you need to find that perfect balance of how long it takes you to do a project and that is the time frame of what you want to do your project without messing it up by going too fast. My fifth quote for you guys today is stick to it. The first 30 days are the most important. The first 30 days are when you build your habit. This is when you need to constantly be sticking to it. If you set a goal, try to set it in month increments at first. And then after you nail the first few months, set it in year increments. And after you nail the first few years, set it in decade increments. It's all about perspective and making sure that you maintain the perspective of your long-term goal instead of your short-term objectives the whole time that you are proceeding forward. My sixth quote for you guys is stick to one concept and master it. If you become a jack of all trades, then you are not gonna be good at one thing, which means that one thing that people are looking for, they're gonna go look for someone else that is a master of that one thing. So what you wanna do is master one thing and then start to learn little other things in the background, but to devote more of your time to this one thing than anything else. And of course, different projects will come up and require different amounts of your energy and commitment, but you want to stay more committed to this one concept that you have than these other concepts that you have coming up. Your mind only has so much storage capacity. So that means 
that when you stick to your one concept and you learn more about this one concept, you will be able to pull out the values and the ideas of it on moment's notice and you will be able to get it done no matter whether you're focusing on another project or you're focusing on this project. And my seventh and last quote for you guys today is leadership is about creating believers in your vision or subscribers to your goals. This means that you need to try and take everything that you believe in and transfer your beliefs onto the other people around you so that they stay committed to the same ideas, the same concepts that you are committed to, and they will help push you along. They will be running mates and push you along in your goals. This is what everybody strives for, so that means that you need to make high quality connections and have people around you that are going to push you forward and closer to your goals. Whether that be your friends, your wife, your husband, your kids, whoever it is, you want them to have a high quality relationship with you and to know what you want to do and to be able to push you to what you want to do. So that's what I got for you guys today. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for Motivational Monday. And as always, 